everyone, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, we will be, we will be doing word problems, as this was requested by some people. And also, word problems is a really good topic to do a video on. So in today's word problem video, I will be covering some really amazing things that you, that you should really do that will boost your score. And some of these rules can apply for comprehension too. I've got some tips and I've also got a question in the end. So make sure you watch the whole video to see the question and comment down below the answer to that question. Um, I, if you ans answer that, I will be liking it and replying to that comment. So let's get started. So as you can see, we're going to be doing word problems, tips, tricks and how to do. So first you should always read the question. You should always read the question. It, like if you just read it, it's just a basic thing in word problems. You have to read the question. So after you read the question, here are some good things to do. Underline key information. This is like in comprehension. Underlining key information is like, um, it's like comprehension. You should underline it so you get really good. You can instantly go and, you know, find the information without skimming and scamming it all over again. So first you should read and while you're reading, underline it. Next, yeah, it will help you find quicker and it's a good habit and it will also help in comprehension. It's a really good habit to do because it will help in comprehension and word problems. You will instantly find the information. Next is to read the question properly. Now, reading a question properly, this is a main thing. Some people will just skim read the question and just answer it. However, that is, you should not do that because if, you know, if you read it properly, you will get a mark. And the thing is, what many people think is you should quickly do it because you might get more marks. But that's wrong. Because if you quickly finish the whole paper with doing it speedily, not checking, getting all the answers wrong, there's no point in doing it. If you at least complete like 10 questions or something properly, you will get 10 marks for sure. However, if you just speed run the questions, you might, you probably won't get that many marks. So you should always read the question properly. Sometimes like, if it's like take away two bananas, let's say that. Uh, this is a really, really simple question. However, lot, some people actually get that wrong. They might not take away two bananas. They might, you know, do something else and just add two ban bananas times, times and all that, which is not good. You should also know what method to use. Uh, so, yeah, this is the thing. Mm. So, yeah, um, if you know what, you should know what method to use. Because if you do a question, but you get the method wrong, you don't get the mark. So it's really important to know what method you're going to use. Because let's say you, get, you, you have all the numbers, but if you don't do the method correctly, you will get the answer wrong. So you know what method you're going to use. If you don't, yes, you will get it wrong. Uh, before I carry on, I'm just going to explain some stuff that will help. First is an acronym. As you can see, the acronym is RIDE. Now, here's what RIDE stands for. The R stands for B. I stands for identify, define, and explain. I'll, I'll, tell, I'll explain it all now. So, read means read the question. Identify means identify the key parts of the question. Like how many bananas, how many, like anything. You have to identify what the question is saying define define means to uh, define it like you know um, understand it if it says um he has five bananas and takes away two bananas um define it and make it into a sum like five take away two that will help a lot and explain you don't need to do the explain part but it's nice to just go in your mind and explain to yourself how it all works it does help and it will build self-confidence with your answers and yeah <laughs> Uh, you must read study books. Now, study books contain loads of stress strategies, methods, and everything. And like, it's linked onto this study books. Know what method to use. If you read a study book, you will know what method to use. So it will really help. If you read the study book, they will explain loads of methods. And also, formulas they'll explain. And you can use formulas too for the methods. Next, write your answer correctly. Now, this may seem like a ridiculous thing. However, it's happened to many, many people. I've done it once or twice. But if you get the correct answer, but you don't write it in properly. Let's say you write the correct answer, but you don't write the centimetre, like centimetre part. You get it wrong. You 
should always look at it how to answer the question. Unit, yeah. Like units, if you have to say it in units, you need to write in the correct spot. I haven't I haven't really done this, but many kids have like you know there's a method like where if you don't know skip a box. Like not on, skip a answer and then go to the next one. Some people accidentally put the answer into the before one they skipped. So that will completely mess up the whole thing. I have heard and I have seen some people doing that where they skip a question and then put the new answer in into the before question. So the whole other order is messed up. So be very careful to see in which box you're going to put it on. Um, yeah, and different numbers. Uh, I have personally have not done this, but some people have the correct answer, but they put the wrong number in the correct box. So writing your answers correctly is really key. You should always, always check what the box says. If it says to write your answer in the measurement or something, stick to that. Because if you get an answer, you know, the correct answer, but you don't write it incorrectly, your mark is gone. So be very careful of this. So before I go into the steps, I'm just going to tell you some night a tip. So here, this happens in comprehension, and if you're reading a long question, if you are losing focus, close your eyes, relax, and take a deep breath, and then carry on reading. So sometimes, if you read a long text, um, I'm pretty sure this has happened to everyone. You will kind of like lose interest and focus in the text. The alarm plus tends to do boring texts and classics like all that um just to bore you out and you know just um just you know to block away and it just it doesn't really help so the lamplist does it on purpose so you should be you should always concentrate on the text some people just stop or just just mm -hmm. just read it blindly and not taking any information so you should always be aware and focus if you think you're losing focus just um close your eyes relax take a deep breath and carry on reading it will help you it will refresh you and yes while you're doing it down write the numbers down sometimes i haven't really included it in this but if it's like five bananas you can write down five b five bananas it will help you write down all the notes so you don't have to look at the whole text again you will have your notes with you so you you can see what you've written down and make us and then define it and make a sum so here are the steps read properly and understand so you should always first of all read properly and understand like i said before don't skim read it if you do more questions but get them all wrong there's no point how if you read properly and do it correctly that then you will get some marks so read properly um underline numbers and text which are key this is again a very good habit it's like comprehension you can underline some um, main questions and key numbers like that work out which method to use this links to the method question because yeah and formulas because if you use the wrong formula or the wrong method you will completely mess up your answer um yeah once reached answer write it down carefully again like i said some stories some people will skip a question then write the new question in the previous box they skipped and then it will mess up the whole array. So next, if there is time, check your work again and make sure. Uh, if there is time, because sometimes if you finish and there's only 10 seconds remaining, uh, you won't really have time to go and check your work again. So if you have time, go and check all your work again. If you have like a minute remaining, go and check your work. And I also um, say something about multi-choice and that. If you are losing time and there's a multi-choice answer, pick an answer from that. Usually guess the middle option, C. Not C, just a medical say to guess the middle option. That's only if it is multi-choice. If there are 10 seconds remaining, it's like three questions, don't guess all of them. Don't write down random numbers if it's not multi-choice. Actually work out one of the questions at least. At least work that out properly in then you can quickly guess the rest because if you just guess all the rest usually people guess all the rest and just relax and wait for the 10 seconds to be over don't do that actually work on at least one answer correct and then you can quickly guess all the other ones so that's what i have and i'm gonna give you a question it seems pretty random 
So Tim has 10,926 Lego pieces. He gives away 8,296 pieces away, then gets 5,129 more. How much does he have now? That is the question I'm asking. So use the stuff, read it, if you can read it. Identify the key information, define, as you can see, 10,000. He gives away, so it will be subtract. Then he gets some amount more. So I'm gonna explain, I'm gonna tell the question one more time, just in case. So you can pause the video now and work this out, comment down below. Tim has 10,926 Lego pieces. He gives away 8,296 and then gets 5,129 more. How much does he have now? <laughs> that is the question. Write down in the comments below and I'll be answering to them. And then again, about word problems, practice makes perfect, as you can see I've written down. Because you have to keep on practicing and get into the habits of all these methods. So, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did and you found it helpful, please like and subscribe and share. Um, yeah, I really hope you enjoyed it. Comment down below the answer to the question and anything else you want me to do. So, yeah, I'll see you all next time. Bye.